Hello and welcome back to Field Sports with Speed. So you might have guessed it, I was out pheasant shooting again. On this day, it wasn't any normal pheasants, it was Exmoor pheasants. That beauty. A lovely estate, Wells Head estate to be exact. And what an awesome day. Birds that really, really test your ability and just every time you missed one you just had a great big smile on your face from thinking wow where did i need to put the lead to get that and uh, we had a great day throughout so i hope the video shows how good a day we had and the extremeness of the birds so uh, yeah let's get into it see what we think right weekend's here again i've had to bring the old gaffer out for another day shooting. Say hello, Julian. Hello, Julian. <laughs> We're going to have fun today, aren't we? Yeah, we are, because you're going to show me how to shoot these high birds. Really? Well, you are a prolific high bird shot, whereas I just get out once or twice a year. haven't got a clue. That piss taken out of me by everybody for my inability to shoot high birds. So I'm looking to sit on your shoulder a bit today and, uh, and learn a thing or two. I'll show you the way. You will. <laughs> So this was the first drive, a drive I think they call Hill Cleave, which I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's called Hill Cleave. And you walk down a road, you go over a little bridge, and uh, you start lining out on this nicely cut path. And uh, you just look up in front of you, and there are just brambles and ferns just leading up to this tree line at the top. And you just look at it and think, if they're even at the top of those trees, they're gonna be 50 yards. And it's just incredible. Just the birds were insane. Something that you've probably never seen all season on, on, on a little syndicate shoot. All of a sudden, the birds are coming out one after the other. Just absolute mega birds. And you watch this, this is, this is pretty special. What looking at some of these birds. <laughs> Lovely. Here we go. Straight upward. Oh, that's it. Oh, both barrels just coming down.
What happened there, Ian? Did you almost run out? <laughs> <laughs> Drivers and screwdrivers in them. Yeah. You're not oh. wrong. <laughs> it's amazing what you do when you shake the camera around. <laughs> What's that down there then, Jules? It's a weird. No, right. But we're not going down there. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Oh my God. So the gun that I use for everything is the Blazer F3 Vantage, which you'll have seen in quite a few of my videos. Uh, I use the Vantage because it's got the raised rib, which helps keep my head in an upright position and see more, get onto the target quicker. And the chokes I was using was a light mod and a half, so a 3.8 and half choke, and it's more than adequate for shooting those pheasants the cartridges i'm using are a whole high pheasant extreme in a 434 with the new hydra wad and i found that keeping the choke just that little bit more open helps the wad do the job properly and you'll see from the video that it was killing the birds really well and i've got no need for shooting tight chokes like i always used to just let the cartridge do the job but you're getting more and more like it smile guys Come on, better looking. Yeah. Oh, I think Marshall said, wouldn't that be better? Never turn the fucking invite down either, do you? <laughs> 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 Barkey, yeah, yeah. hey Barkey, yeah. another beverage, please. Well, certainly. <laughs> so who else we got? Will, other Adam. Yeah. What a Camera. There you go. Oh, 